What's going on guys, Jared here at JC's Lawn Tips. Today we're showing you guys these water features here at Aquascape in St. Charles, Illinois. Aquascape makes this whole process super quick and easy. They sell this whole thing in a kit right here. Everything except for the lights, the rock, and basically digging the foundation work for this whole project. Super easy, you buy the whole kit, you install it, you're done with two guys in about four hours. You're making about 3,500 bucks on this project with really high profit margins. Yeah. Super easy. It's a breeze. We'll walk right through it. Anyways, we'll run that plumbing down through there, and all it does is snake right over this pump. You see how it's got this face yeah. and this long face? If we make this kind of a back, more of like an angled back face, and that's opened up, so the water is kind of coming out. Thirty clockwise. Yeah, like that. And then we put the smaller one here and then the medium size one there. Yeah. Okay, that's not problem. If you're really having a hard time, you can grab a heat gun and just heat the end of it up. It'll kind of soften up that rubber, and then it's no big deal. So that's all there is to that. I'm just gonna kind of work this pump back down in there. The Ultras can really operate on their side. They can operate sitting flat on the bottom. Um, they're pretty versatile as far as how they sit in the base. So the pump doesn't attach to anything, it just kind of floats down there? Yep. It sits on the bottom, right? Um, but no, it doesn't attach to the wall. It doesn't attach to like the mounting plate down there or anything. Okay. So our pump's hooked up. We have all our plumbing done. We can put some geo grid down. So this is uh, basically, we can lay this over the basin and what's gonna do is gonna keep like pine needles out of there. It's gonna keep any sort of grit, debris, anything that'll fit through those larger grates in there. This is what's gonna keep it. You could and mark X's in them for sure. Absolutely. So we're just gonna get this situated down around here. Yep, got it. So whenever we're thinking about viewing areas, we always try and shine them away from the viewing area. So you're not probably gonna put any from the, the back of the rocks because it just you're never gonna see them. And if you walk around one way, it's just gonna catch you right here. Um, two different ways to do these lights. It's all preference. Sometimes it's nice to have them back here and you can kind of get a whole profile of the rocks. I like to do a zone right here. So you kind of get that water rushing off of here and you just get that light kind of hitting all that. And put it off of a front corner somewhere. So what that, that's going to allow us to do is now we can get a piece of fabric or something right here. We can actually bring soil or sand up to the back of this rock. And that's going to take away the shape of this on this corner in particular. Maybe on that corner, we'll do like a gravel beach area. So we can kind of try and make these lines a little bit softer with gravel. Pretty simple. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
So I'm just going to go through here. You guys kind of saw what those valves looked like, right? So all I'm doing is just tweaking these valves little by little. Um, sometimes it takes a little bit to get them all right because the second you just one, it takes water flow away from that other one. I'm just going to put a couple retaining stones there. Like this is basically a real life situation. If you got a hill or uh, anything, thing all the way into there. I'm just going to throw this fabric right here to keep sand out of my basin or soil or whatever it is. How's that front one look? He's a little more. He's not coming up. A little more? Yeah. That's good. Right there? It's like that. And I really like it. Yeah, but I like that look better, actually. Yeah. Yeah. 